Good afternoon, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we are back to do Roxy's Weekly Challenge, uh, week 13. And she did fun surprise belly bands. She cut her belly bands into sections. Um, what I've done is left mine as a whole. I'm going to cut them at one and a half inches each. Um, and they're eight inches tall because you know my book my book is um my journals are usually about eight and a half oh it's eight and a half inches tall sorry so first i'm just going to collage over it and i brought along just some music and words to do that with um, the reason i'm not cutting mine in half is because i know I'll be too careful and then it won't be a surprise because I'll know that I wasn't really that careful. So um, in order to really surprise myself I'm going to try it this way and just see if I can you know kind of surprise myself. And then I'll get a combination of things on the paper that will be wonderful. I hope. I hope. Ooh, this is one of those nice papers from Rachel. Ooh, I love it. Oh, that feels so beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful paper. So these are just the little bits and pieces that I have over in my little junk drawer and I'm just using this piece of scrap paper that I have. Here's an Edith Holden. Let's use that. So how is everybody today? I would like to welcome each of you to my channel. I'm so glad you're here to join me today for this challenge. I'm picked up doing challenges this year in hopes of learning how to um, get a little quicker at this so that I'm not wasting time. You know how we hate to waste anybody's time. We are so, so much about that. We got a craft and we have time and there's no dilly-dallying. <laughs> Is that a word? My mom used to say that. Don't dilly-dally. Okay, but can we go to Dairy Queen for a dilly bar? Oh yes, the old dilly-dally dilly bar thing. Yep. <clears throat> fun. Okay. Love my glue, but don't like getting it all over my hands sometimes, but I might have to revert right back to it because this might not work. Oh, I forgot to set my timer. 45 minutes. Some are this way, some are that way. I want some upside down, some right side up. I do want this side to go over just slightly. Thank goodness these mats are cleanable, huh? Okay. Let's see. Where's my glue book? Um, I must have put my glue book somewhere else. Don't want to use my Daphne's diary. Oh my god. Goodness, Angela. If I had my glue book, 
using my glue stick would be better. So let me grab my glue book. It must be right over here. No telling. I think I put them away. <laughs> I don't know why. Just to clean up my area, I guess. Yep, here it is. Need to go down and get some books that are made for um, teen reading or something like that so that I'm not um, having to worry about the words on the page. I think that would be very nice, don't you? Nothing says I have to buy a, a book for an adult to use the pages for. So sometimes just putting down um, kind of a neutral background helps uh, the collaging brain kind of start thinking um, differently, I guess. It does mine anyway. I don't know what, what it does for you, but um, I know for me it really helps me to um, think about um, it kind of takes away the blank page, but also gives me a good starting point. Oh man, I did the wrong side of that one. That was not what I wanted to do. As I was saying, welcome to my channel. Uh, so good to have you all with me. And nice to be um, back filming. I, I love, love, love making videos. So it's always fun for me. that there because I put the wrong side up on this one. That was not the side I wanted. Same way here. So let's take this little piece. It has some words on it. I don't know if you can hear the doves calling. <laughs> They're really going to town out there today. Oh, dear me. I glued it right to my glue book, you guys. 
Yep, we sure did. <laughs> no, nope, that one's not going to work. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I need some more words. Um, no, not that one. We use that one a lot. Oh, that is such a fragile little page. There you go. We'll use you just like that. Um. Nope. Use that. Looks like I have one more to cover up here, so we'll just use this. Test your lungs. We'll go with the dainty pills or quinine on the other side. Don't know why, but... Oh, dainty dyes is what it was. Sorry about that. And then... Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and cover that. Because that was just blank. And talcum baby powder. How about that? From the nursery department. See, we have that little bit. Um, let's put those over there. right in there and let's see I'm going to put this right here and I need to cover that little bit up go with some old tea kettles. Reminds me of having camp coffee. about that right there. I'm going 
Okay, I want some words in there. Oh, let's put the lady with the hat. She probably won't stay, but I want to put her there. Probably end up cutting her head right off. What do you think? She'll probably get sliced right, right through the middle of her face there. That would be not so happy. And maybe she's the captain's daughter. That was the name of one of the songs. Okay, so now what we need to do is to add some other elements to it. So let me get rid of some of this paper. Wow, look at that hair. Princess Hair Restore grows hair like this. Here it is, Hair Tonic Restore. 65 cents, and it can be all yours. Okay, let me put those back in that drawer. And these little bitty pieces over there. Those go in the basket of Use Me. And sometimes I try to, but sometimes I don't. Okay, so now what? Now what does it need? Well, it needs some elements, some elements of surprise. Okay, so what are we going to put on there? Um, I do have the schematic of an airplane. I do have these ladies. I do have that. Have that. Have that. And that. Some of these, I, w I only want to use them if I can cut them up kind of nicely. Uh, let's see. These were some that I had for the Marguerite Miller challenge. So... I probably can't use those because I pulled those out of a certain area off the web. Okay. Now these are altered by design. Um, I bought them back in, two, she made them in 2008. So there's that. Oh, this is my great grandma and great grandfather. Um, you know, I do have these images I could use. That, why not? Okay. I don't know what's going to happen to you. I'm so sorry. You know, I don't think I can use people, you guys, because they're going to get torn apart. They're going to get owied. Sorry about my head getting in the way. Um, let's see. Let me look down here. Mm. 
mushrooms. No. There's some birds. I want the mushrooms. I do have some butterflies. Let's choose up some of these. These are so glossy and stuff that I think this would be really good to use. Um, I probably should not take time to do this, right? Come on. Get to working. Time to go to work, Art Glitter Glue. Even if I've left you open, you ought to be used to me by bye now. Bye bye now. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start there. I want to use up because I am working on um, making flatter images and stuff. Um, cutting them out. I'm fussy cutting. And these are kind of thick. And they're, they're great for a lot of things. So don't get me wrong. But I'm just starting, starting to really see the difference between a flat journal and an overstuffed. And you can still overstuff, but you don't have to use really thick items like these. But on this page, these nice big ones like this are very good because they stretch all over the place. Like this, see? Let's go that way with that one. I'm, I'm not going to um, gringy these all up. I can gringy them once they're on the, the page if I use them for something. So see, if I do them this way, in the long way, and I, I know that I'm going to be cutting each one. So that's kind of neat because I don't know what I'm going to end up with this way. But at least they're all of a similar design. Oh, there goes that woman. Sorry, lady. And let's see. Oh, that's a pretty one. Let's use that. Which way does it go? This way? There we go. No telling what it'll look like when I'm done. But we will turn it over and cut it, and then we'll be surprised when we open it. I think we can be surprised or we can be disappointed. You know, either way, it doesn't matter. Gosh, those doves are just calling and calling today. So 
So by putting something clear on that side and clear on this side, I'm guaranteed that I'm going to get at least part of my flower on two of them. In the middle, who knows what'll happen. You know, not that one, not that one. Um, maybe something a little smaller now. Um, let's put this one right there. I think probably I'm going to cut that ribbon off a little bit. Some little smaller elements. Let's see. Did I not put the small ones in here? Must not have. Must have put them in a different one. Not that one. Nope. Oh, that's a different one. Let's check this one. It might have some of the smaller ones. It does have some smaller ones. Let's look there. They're a little different though. Um, not that one. That one's from the same batch. Oh yeah, here we go. that one partially on there. And let's put this one right in here. Of course we could leave blank spots for pictures of the women. Shall we do that? Do you think? You do think? Okay. So we'll leave some blank spots so that we can put in some of those pictures. Okay, but before we do that, let's stick on some butterflies. Yeah, I didn't realize that really sitting down and fussy cutting while you watch TV is actually quite relaxing. <laughs> I had no idea that it could relax you like that. I actually enjoyed it. I haven't, I only usually fussy cut when I'm getting ready to do a project or when, uh, while I'm doing a project because I think, you know, it's going to take time. I don't want to have to go out and take all that time to do that. And Oh, I think he's going to get cut in half, guys. <laughs> I think so. There we go. We know that one will be okay.
Okay. Got a few butterflies in there. Um, I'm put that over there. Where's the lid? Where is that lid? Can't find the lid to my anchor. Wonder what I did with it. I suppose I threw it away. Oh, good heavens. Who knows? Surely I'll find it somewhere. Okay. I said I was going to cut them at one and a half inches, right? Plus, we're going to even up these edges. Okay. There's that. No peeking. We're not going to peek. Okay. Okay, every one and a half inches, one and a half, right about there. I'm not going to show them to you yet. One and a half, right there. Whoops, better not ruin my thing while I'm here. One and a half. One and a half. My top does not seem to be even up there. This one. Is it one and a half? It's just over, isn't it? Yeah, one of them I must have cut wrong. Okay. Mixing them all up. Here's the first one. Oh, I like them just that way. Here's the next one. And here's that one that was the very beginning, so it does need something right there. And here is this one. That one looks okay. And this one really got cut up, but it needs a picture on it. This one's a little large for there. Um, I need some little tiny ones, don't I? Like, maybe her. Maybe she's sitting up on the bushes there. She picks some flowers to take to her mama. So let's put her on. And she will go right about there. Oh, I gotta grab my towel. It fell on the floor. Okay, so there's that one. I like that. I think that's cute. She might need... Oh, look, her hair is cut off there. Darn it. I hate to buy something and have it owied. That ir irritates me. Okay, too big. Here's this girl. Here's the other tag. 
Oh, now this is a cardboardy person. Let's use her. I did see Artie Mays um, pull these apart and made them thinner. I thought that was a great idea. I'm not going to take time to do that right now, but I do like that idea. So there she is. You can see that it kind of sticks up a little bit, but that's okay. It'll work fine. They're a belly band. And let's see. Here's another cardboard. Here's a cute little boy. Oh, he's so cute. Um, they have to have something to pop their arm up on. Here's a little boy and girl. They would need something. Why couldn't you use that one? It looks wrong. Um, they need something down below here. I don't know what. Maybe they should be standing on an egg. Why not? Why not? I say why not? Might as well use my ink. I can't find the thing to it. So Got just a little bit of time left. About 12 minutes. So let's put an egg down here. Just like that. Let's take our little kids. And they found a big dinosaur egg to stand on. Oops, you better stand on there solidly or you're going to fall off. You don't want to fall and get hurt. See, there's a dinosaur egg, there's a giant butterfly. Cool. So there is those three. Now, this one. Um, what do we have? Oh, she is adorable. These are groups. We don't need a group on there because they won't fit. She's adorable. I'm going to use her. She's one of the thick cardboard ones. Or I should say chipboard. And now we have these. Let's see. Here's a cute little girl. Oh look, that kind of gives her butterfly wings. Oh look at this little boy. They both need butterfly wings, don't they? Where's the butterflies? Too big. Oh my goodness, that is cute. There, that one would work, wouldn't it? That would be perfect on her. Take your wings and fly. Sorry. 
I'm out of tune today. I've had a cold. I'm usually out of tune though. So it doesn't matter, does it? There we go. Oh, that is adorable. <laughs> oh, it's so cute what you can do with the little Tim Holtz paper dolls. Whoops, I shouldn't have done her wings because they stick over the belly band, don't they? There we go. Oh my gosh. I wish I had put wings on this little girl with the doll. That would have been adorable too. Oh my goodness. She is so cute. Okay, little guy. Let's find some wings for you. Here's some just, those are too tiny. They need to stick out a little bit. Those wings look like a map in the back. Don't like those. Okay, I have to cut the head off the butterfly, unfortunately. But I could cut my butterfly in half like this. And then I can do this. I can do this. Oh, how sweet. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh. Okay, now. Only put a little bit of glue on his wings, Angela, because his wings stick over the edge of the belly band. Okay, so there we are. How about that? They turned out a little bit thick, but I think that's okay. Um, it's just due to the pieces that I used. They were thicker pieces. So there we go. I like doing it that way. That's kind of cool. I've never made belly bands this way before, so that worked out pretty good for me. What do you all think? Think it works out pretty good? So there we go. We have the little boy in the flower garden because he's a butterfly. And we have the cute little girl. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Look at that. I love it. Oh, how sweet. We have the little girl in the flower garden with the doll. Sorry if that's not showing up. I had to readjust my camera because of my camera light and my glasses don't adjust to that height up there. These are my work glasses. The little kids on the egg and the little girl sitting on the musical note. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six beautiful belly bands. Six. I count six. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. You got your counting in for today, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. It reminds me of Sesame Street when my kids were little. 
and they would count up and they'd count down and they'd count up and they'd count down. So much counting. Count Dracula. Okay, well, thanks for joining me today. I sure appreciate it. And I hope you had fun. And I hope you'll try to challenge yourself this way. Even if you have to use um, thicker cardboardy pieces, it's okay. They actually work out. And I think with a little bit of um, inking in here and stuff, that these will um, grunge up nicely and look great in a junk journal. And um, I think it'll go good. Yeah. Yeah, it grunges up pretty good around the edges. So, very nice. Thanks, Roxy, for the challenge. This was great. Or, thanks, Rachel, for the challenge. This was great fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I did it a little, little different, but it... Um, it actually worked out great for me this way because I knew the other way I would very much plan it out. And this way I didn't. And so it does come as a nice big surprise. And it allows a person to add some elements on the top. Even if they are standing on an egg. So, there we go. Thanks for joining me. Hope you all have a great day, and happy Easter, and God bless, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.